Hey guys, got a little bit different video today. My first interview with a fellow chainsaw nut. I met this cool guy named Stan and we got to talking and and uh, he actually, he asked me, he's like, Don't, he's like, do you rebuild chainsaws? And I was like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> and and uh, he's like, He's like, do you have a YouTube channel? And I was like, yeah. He's like, I watch you all the time. And I was like, what? That's crazy, a guy here in my town. And uh, yeah, he, he found me on YouTube and he said he'd been watching me. And so we went in there and checked out all his chainsaws. So here's that video, check it out. I'll get into video mode. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, this is Stan. <laughs> Hi. He's a chainsaw nut like me. Imagine that. <laughs> Look at this beast he's got. Now, what is this one, Stan? The Home Light 2000. Damn. Super 2000, actually. Yeah, that's cool. And he restored the whole thing. What kind of paint is that? Um, I think it's uh, international farm farm all yeah. red. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, that thing's a beast. What did you say it was? 112 cc? 115 115? Yeah. Damn, that thing's an animal. It's got some torque. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And then what's the next one you got? The old home light. This is a 600D. What was that? Is... What was that one like when you got it? Was it pretty nasty? Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. all are. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh... That took me. That took several months to, to do everything right on. Yeah, it. that's cool. That's almost like one of those easies, isn't it? Basically. Fine, fine part, yeah. And then, is, did you get those decals it's, from that Sugar Creek place? Yes. Yeah, that's cool. That's like the zip. Uh huh. The, uh huh. I know. I had a zip. My my dad found me at the at a garage sale. Uh huh. And I freaking ruined it because that's when I first started doing chainsaws, and I took it to the um, car wash. And washed it all off and <laughs> oh, made no. it really nice and and then I and then I forgot about it for a couple of years. I set it aside and uh -huh. it must it must have got water like in the crankcase or something because it just froze it up bad. Oh yeah. Once so yeah, you, you can't do that. that. Yeah, it's like toast. you can't do that. Yeah. I remember I tried to pull it over and it was just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's cool. And then what's the, and Then you got an old McCall look. Yep, that's a, a Mac two hundred. Yeah, that's cool. I've got a 300, but yeah, I never heard of a 200. They're all pretty much 80 cc's, those things, aren't they? Right, yeah. right. Yeah, that's cool. Got the old stack muffler. Uh-huh. It's noisy. Oh, I know. They're loud. Yeah, that's cool. I got managed the... to find a new, a new Yeah, spike that's the big old bucking eBay. spike on that one. Yeah. Nice. And it's funny, these old saws, they always had these little short bars on them. What's up with that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking that the longest what that this would go was a 24. Yeah, something Even like that. Even though it's 80cc, it's yeah. slow. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. I know, they're just like, Bleh. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, she looks good. Were those made like the 60s probably? Yeah, I think this one here is, um, I'm, I'm guessing, 61, yeah. 63, something mm -hmm. right in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice. And then you got the little, the little, uh, easy, it's a super, easy. super easy. That's cool. Yeah. I always thought that was cool. How they have that little decomp valve on. Mm -hmm. I can, I mean, it's, it's not too big. It's going to break your arm when you pull on it. Yeah. I but can, I can jerk on it. Without yeah. The decomp. Uh -huh, but it's supposed to be easy to start. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's their easy thing. Break something in the recoil. By yeah. Doing that. Well, then they had the, then they had the ones that had the, checkered flags on them you've seen those huh uh -uh. yeah they had a i don't know if it was a super easy or an easy but it had like a little checkered flag thing that was sort of uh -huh. cool looking uh -huh. looked like racy you know but yeah that's nice nice and then you got a bunch up here huh the 240s drag one of them bad boys There's down one of the 240s that i, I restored yeah that's nice yeah, I don't think I ever had one of those. I got one of those 150s, you know, those goofy looking ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah was, they are goofy. Yeah. Looking. I saw the handle. Uh huh. Saw the handle uh -huh. Yeah, that's cool. That's nice. And they all suffer from the same problem as the oil pump. Uh huh. And they're, they're, yeah. They're almost impossible to find. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, that's cool. Did you paint that? It looks nice and shiny. Uh, I, only, I put clear coat on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Keep their original paint from getting any worse. Right. Yeah, that looks nice. I did I did open up the muffler here, too. This was a solid piece off another oh, muffler. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and you just, yeah, that's cool. You just slid it and boom. You could have got a little more power out yeah, there. Yeah, nice. Then you got some steels up there. Some newer ones. Yeah, oh. this is a one. Those must be your user size, huh? That's the 170, yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's a two, two something. That one is? That's a 271. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know my newer saws very well. But they're good, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, they're, they're, they're good. good. Powerful saws. And you got a couple of Huskies there. Yeah, them are my go-to wood Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You like the Huskies. What size is that one? That is, uh, on, I, I really don't remember. Like it's bigger than a 51 probably, huh? Yeah, it's a, it's a, a 50, 50 something. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I put some, I did put some Yeah, those look in cool. Here. Where'd you get those at? Um, I got them on Amazon. They're like, they're just vents. Yeah, that's cool. They actually look pretty cool. They're about three eighths of an inch huh. deep and I put a piece of uh, closed cell foam in them. Yeah. It's got some oh. good airflow. Do they have like little tabs on the back that you right. bend over? Oh, that's cool. Right. I'm going to have to look for those. Those look cool. Nice. And I put, I got the, I got the muffler opened up. Oh, nice. Ooh, custom muffler. This thing snorts. Wow. I put them butt ugly screens on there just because keep, of the force So they don't hassle you. Yeah. <laughs> We're checking out the chainsaws. <laughs> <laughs> it's right and what's that other one? That's, oh, a, that's a Husky 51 that I put a uh, 55 cylinder oh, in. Oh, cool. So I'm calling it a 55 yeah. now. Oh, nice, and you did the same vent job. That yeah. looks cool. Just to do to the shape of the air cleaner, I had to offset these. Yeah. This looks a little goofy. But... Wow, I like that. Nice. Yeah, I'd, I've got a 51 that a guy, um, he sort of did the same thing. He ported it and put a different cylinder. The thing uh, goes. Yeah. Because yeah, he, he was saying these 51s are junk from uh, stock. Uh-huh. Yeah, they weren't the greatest. No. But you have to soup I, them up a little I bit. I cut hundreds of cords of wood with this. Really? Stuff, yeah. Before I put the new cylinder wow, in. Wow, that's cool. I built some spikes for it. Oh, wow. Um, Custom spikes. That's cool. Put a one port on this one. Yeah. Which opened it up pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah, and you got your custom screen on there so they can't hassle you. Yep. How did you get... What is this? Um, that's a... That's a... The end of a hose bib I oh, cut off that's and cool. ground down on my grinder. Of oh, course. nice. So it, is it just like on there just tight? It doesn't look like a big nut on yeah. there. Yeah. Is it just press fit on there? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. With, with the screen. With the screen, it just holds it on there. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I got some stainless steel strainer screens from the dollar store. Yeah. Cut them out. Ah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. That's cool. A fellow saw, man. And then I'm a, let's see that project saw you got over here. Another home light. And that's just an easy, isn't it? That's the under, no, no, the easy, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I've had a few of those. I remember I bought one at our yard sale years ago, and it was like mint condition, and I sold it on eBay. That's when I was selling stuff. Now I wish I hadn't have sold so much <laughs> I of know. it. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. What's the other side look like? Oh, yeah, they got the cool muffler, and the, yeah, there's the decomp valve. Huh. Yep. Cool. Yep. I don't have a spike for that yet, but I've got yeah. a, I've got a new bar for it up there somewhere. I'm not oh, sure wow. which one it is. I oh wow! You got this. chains and bars. This is the 20, 26 inch for the uh, Home Light two thousand here. Oh yeah. And that big old half inch chain. Dang. Processor chain. Uh huh. Nice. What'd you guys use for logging back in the day for chainsaws? That 2000. Really? Yeah, home, home lights, max. Yeah. They were all big saws yeah. because we were in big wood mm -hmm. working in the Olympic Peninsula. But you didn't see any like Johnson Reds or anything Not like that? Not that I remember, no. Yeah, everybody says those are like East Coast saws, I guess. That, I understand that. Yeah. Nah, it was all home lights, mm -hmm. West yeah. Coast stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> big saws. Cool. I think they got some large wood on the East Coast, but nothing like we have. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. You got the big old Ford truck. Nice. 
Okay, thanks for letting me look at your yeah, stuff. At the end of the video, I accidentally bumped the off button with my thumb, so I cut him off, but isn't he a cool guy? Yeah, him and his dad um, had a logging truck operation back in the day, and yeah, he said they hauled a lot of logs back in the day. And they did some uh, logging too, just a little bit of everything. But yeah, that was cool. My first interview. So anyways, hope you enjoyed that, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. And thanks, Dan.